Alright guys, hello and welcome to another Flight Sim Fan video. This time we're back in the F-16 Falcon in DCS World, or Viper I should say. And uh, this time we're just going to be looking at, at how to swap targets in track wall scan mode. So we're going to work on building tracks, we're going to work on swapping targets, and then shooting off missiles at multiple targets. Okay, some controls you'll need for today uh, will be the t TMS, Target Management Switch. You'll need all, all four of those. You're going to need your display management switch as well just to make life a little easier swapping through screens and things uh, you'll need your radar cursor up down left and right to move the cursor around obviously you need the uh, gun trigger and, and in case you get merged and the uh, missile release or weapon release I should say okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in our um, F-16 here let's throw an active pause Okay, so now we're not moving anymore, and what you'll notice is we just found a couple F, or a data, well, I'm, I know there are F-14s, I put them there, but uh, <laughs> a couple of data link contacts. The RWR should probably confirm, yeah, F-14 at the top there. So let's try to lock all three up. It's a three ship, and we'll try to shoot all of the missiles on them. So the first thing we want to do is make sure the IFF is set to norm, and to do that is the knob just back here. It should be part of your startup process. Masters on norm. Okay, next we're going to hit air to air below the HUD. Okay, you'll notice we're in 120s, aim 120C, and you have the giant circle in the HUD. We're going to select display management switch right to go to the HSD. You can just click it if you'd like, but it's faster to do that. Now I like to hit DEP at the top and, and actually put myself in the center like that. I just like that a little bit better for myself. Okay, we're going to go to the radar now, and notice I'm going to pause here because the targets are getting closer, even though we're not moving. Um, there's a couple modes of the radar you got to understand. We have range wall scan, track wall scan, and uh, there's different uh, settings we can use with that, as in the azimuth, how far we're scanning left and right off the nose, uh, left and right this way, and there's bars, the how, how wide we're scanning vertically. You can think of it like that. Okay, so in range wall scan, I could try to use this view. <laughs> in range wall scan, uh, if you lock a target up, it's all the energy of the radar is going to that one target. That target, if he has, if he or she has an RWR on board, will know you're locking them. As soon as you shoot a missile, uh, a, shoot, a radar missile, it will tell them they, they've been shot at by a radar missile. Okay, now track wall scan doesn't do that. Track wall scan, you can actually track up to, uh, I don't know what the number of the 16 is. I know the F-14 is like 24 targets or something like that. You can track up to multiple targets at the same time without telling them you're locking them. Uh, and get missile shots on them as well. They will not get a missile warning until the missile's radar inside it goes pit bull or active. So that's what a Fox 3 is. That's what a 1 and 20 is. That's what a AIM-54, R-77, uh, various types of Fox 3s. So we've covered that. Track wall scan, you can lock them up. They don't know you're locking. You can shoot them. They don't know you're shooting until the missile itself goes pit bull with its own radar. So the missile itself finds it and tracks by itself. And then you can turn away at that point, as you probably know. So what we're going to do is, because we see our bandits on the nose, uh, let's just say there's nothing else out here, I'm going to make my scan as narrow as possible to get the fastest refresh rate out of the radar, and we're going to use track wall scan as well. So let's unpause here. We're going to hit TMS, or hold TMS right for about two seconds, we'll do it now, and let go. Notice it switches to track wall scan at the top. You can also click it if you want. Next thing, our azimuth here, I'm going to click this. Once, we'll get uh, a smaller azimuth. You'll notice by the bars here. Lastly, we're gonna change our bars. So this is changing how wide we're scanning horizontally. Bars is scanning, or is gonna change how far we can scan, how wide we can scan vertically. So notice these numbers here, 20 to 49,000. If I change that bar down to one, 28 to uh, 41. See, they're getting a little bigger, 22 to 46. 20 to 49 so it's a it's a wider the more bars the wider you can scan but the longer it takes okay i'm going to pause right here so they're at 34,000 feet we know that so there's no point in having really wide bar um, scanning so we could probably do a bar of three would work out for today uh, and this is kind of just as you play around uh, that's what i prefer um, to use if i'm just locking them on a, a three ship all at the same altitude now if you have multiple targets maybe keep it a little wider uh, just in case if the data link doesn't pick something up Okay, so we'll set a bar of three. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my radar elevation all the way down, and that's a control you'll need as well. Uh, elevation knob, 
these two here. This one brings their elevation down, and CW brings the elevation back up. All right, so with our radar down, uh, obviously the radar can't see anything. It's looking straight down to the water pretty much right now. You'll notice that these data link targets are unfilled. And when they're unfilled, it means they're just data link targets. That's uh, the data link from the AWACS saying, hey, there's some guys here. Gives you the altitude on the radar, which is 34,000 feet, uh, which is cool. Uh, the 18, you got to use different pages to find that. So it's really nice that the 16 puts it on the radar for you already. So what we got to do is bring our cursor over to where the target data link is and manipulate the altitude scanning to see the altitude that they're at. So let's do that. Let's unpause, bring the cursor up to the target. Let's bring our elevation up to at least 34,000 feet. So let's do a scan a bit more. So eight, now we're scanning 18,000 feet to 41,000 feet at this range, wherever the cursor is. Now notice they're all getting filled in triangles. Once they're all filled in triangles, we can actually um, lock them up with using multiple locks. Okay, so what we're going to do, once they're all filled in triangles in red, TMS right, short, and once again. Okay, now notice we got the circle on the very right hand guy. If I hit TMS right once more, goes to the middle, once more to the right. So now it's going to cycle between all three targets like that. So let's fire, uh, let's fire on all of them. Why don't we do that? So, master arms on. You can IFF if you'd like with TMS left, but we already know they're bandits from the data link. TMS left will do it though. We've got 18 miles, let's Fox 3. Okay, TMS right, Fox 3. TMS right, Fox 3. Now I didn't turn, but I would recommend turning for all those, but <laughs> I'm just gonna show you what you can do with it. Okay, we'll hit TMS right once more to get back to the first guy. Now you'll notice all three missiles going off. Let's hope they all track to their individual targets. First one's doing a good job. Now I don't care if it actually hits, I just want to show you what it can actually do. Second one's going to the middle guy. Third one going to the left guy. Splash one. That got chaffed. I think it's a splash two. Yeah, that, that one got notched. So we'll go back to the radar here. TMS right, right. Now it's on the very far left guy. I'll take it off autopilot here, and Fox 3. You know what it is? I'm still on active pause. <laughs> That'll probably help. Let's go out of active pause. I couldn't turn, but we got a missile off anyways. Okay, missiles Pitbull, you notice that the A with the timer went away here before it was A, and now it turned to T. Once it turns to T, uh, it's just time of flight, and you can go defensive. Once it's a T, the missile's active. This is really hard. I usually fly with VR, by the way, so I don't really fly without that. But we got another splash. So that's three F-14s killed there. Now, they weren't loaded with Phoenixes for obvious reasons. But uh, I hope that showed you how you can use the uh, missiles there. Multiple targets all at once and uh, get away with it. So if you enjoyed that, please like uh, down below or comment. Let me know what uh, you could do better or what you liked about it. I'll also be putting a link to Discord down below if you want to join that. Any help needed flying uh, DCS, P3D, X-Plane, uh, the new flight sim, or real life training for how real life uh, civilian, at least from my perspective, I can give uh, insight on that. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.